have said and is in any affections. Affection ending in a guyo, he lay African National Congress. Gupen. What I also do know is that she was such a woman of integrity, a woman of substance, and that she would have said no to corruption. She would have said no to corruption. That is what Uma Musharat Maklage would have done. Because she would have known over the corruption in the African National Congress is like poison. It's like poison and it kills. First it will kill the organization and then it will kill our people's appetite to support the African National Congress. And she would have refused to participate in any corruption. Umama Oshalot Matlek was a leader who was imaginative and she always reflected on issues of the time both in her own country as well as on the African continent as well as globally. She knew that leadership should be based on knowledge, on competence, and experience, and dedication, and hard work. As we keep her legacy flame burning bright, let it illuminate and allow to emerge. We must allow many more Charlotte McLeagas to emerge. Men and women must come to the fore and say, Ndim lo o Charlotte Maclake. That's what we should all be doing. It is now up to the new generation of women activists to take forward the struggle for the full emancipation of women in the course of a better South Africa. Uma Musharot laid the foundation. We now need people who will finish the job. I speak particularly of those in the ranks of the ANC Women's League Young Women's Desk and the newly formed ANC Youth League National Task Team. Because you are the future. They are the future. Umama Charlotte McClurge was the future of her time and we have now had to take the baton from her. We are counting on the young people of our country to complete what Umamu Shalot Maklaike started. It is a cause that can no longer be deferred. As W.E.B. Dubois said, it is today that we fit ourselves for the greater usefulness of tomorrow. Today is the seed time. Now are the hours of work, and tomorrow comes the harvest, close quotes. This great woman and many other great women like her were that seed. They were the seed. I speak here of women like Umama Olilian Goy, Albertina Susulu, Helen Joseph, Upetha Kowa, Winnie Matigizela Mandela, and many others. They were the seed, and we saw the harvest that they brought home. Let us indeed work to develop this generation's women and harness the reaping of the seed. Let the multitudes of Charlotte McLeagas rise and come to the fore. This is where the poem that I used in the State of the Nation Ega Maya Angelo comes to mind. I rise. I rise. And we want to see many Charlotte McLeagas rising and rising amongst the young people of our country. Thank you very much.